Hey guys, we are back. Seven footers, Gerard and Jenna here with our Western Conference recap for this week. Yeah. We are on game two, and it's right behind us. <laughs> Western Conference Finals. Western Conference Finals, right behind us. The Rockets versus the Warriors, per usual, the matchup that everybody's been waiting for. Yeah, and unfortunately, it didn't go the way that we all thought it was going to go in game one. You know, all year we were like, the Rockets, they were built to beat the Warriors. They're ready. They got Chris Paul. They're going to make it happen. This is their year. Blah, 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 blah. And then game one happened. Yep, and uh, <laughs> just, just like that. <laughs> it happened. <laughs> and it was, um, you know, game one for the Warriors was the Kevin Durant show. I mean, he, he was he, who he is. He was unguardable. Not that that's... Not right. ever the right. case. That's, not, that's not a shock to anybody, right? He was. <laughs> I he was hate killing him. He was killing him. <laughs> I mean, that's what he does. This is a seven foot scoring virtuoso like we've not seen in seven this league foot. before. He's just everything, <laughs> right? Sniper, right? He's a, a sniper. I mean, <laughs> he is. There is a reason why when we talk about the best players in the world, it's always LeBron and KD. LeBron and KD. Because in my mind, those are the two best guys. And as good as Steph is, as good as James Harden is, as good as Russell Westbrook, as good as a lot of these other guys are, in my mind, it's those two, mm -hmm. and then it's a little bit of a dip, and then it's the other guys. No, I agree. And it's because of their size and their physicality, right? Mm -hmm. LeBron 6'9 is built like a tank, so he can get to the rim, and he's just, he's just so big and physically strong and imposing. Yeah. Durant's just so long, and you can't... He's just so long. When you right. see him on the court, it's like he takes like one or two Euro steps <laughs> and it's like right in. I mean, it doesn't matter who you put on him. Like, it's he just shoots up over them. And you know what we have to say, too, in game two? Steph Curry, not that he's not an all-around, you know, oh, both ends of the floor Steph player. Curry's great. But he was pulling it out on both ends. He was boxing out in the paint, getting yeah. rebounds. Yeah. I mean... He was outstanding as well. And I think for Steph, he realized in the game, okay, I'm not really on right now and KD's cooking. That's cool. I'm going I'm to feed KD and, yeah. and, I'll, and I'll work on his other stuff. But that's what makes the Warriors so good is that their two best players, KD and Steph, are egoless, right? It's like, all right, it's your turn today. Cool. You can they do are. it. They are. That is a really good point. They, they are egoless. Yeah. And, and that's what was able to make that partnership work out. Because where else do you think it would work where another already established two-time MVP would say, that's cool, I'll bring another MVP here, right. and like, in many ways, like a backseat. Yeah. Right? That and they works take for me. turns, and they don't mind. They really because don't mind. Because for them, they want to win chips. And speaking of cooking, <laughs> okay, my boy Clay dropping mad triples. Yeah, I think yeah. it's six triples. Yeah. And at one point, <laughs> a little, little kiss, kiss right to the crowd. Little kiss to the crowd. Right to the crowd. I'm here for the Clay show. Listen, Clay, and I said this last night uh, or Monday night during the game. You know, Clay is the perfect guy for the Bay Area. He's he's egoless. He's Very just happy right. being there. He, he loves winning. He yep. loves getting open shots. He said it after the game. He's like, he's like, that's why Katie wanted to come here. Okay. Who doesn't want to get open shots? Like, this is great. <laughs> exactly. They're good at creating floor space. The Hampton Five started in game one. The Hampton Five started in game two. And I don't care how much people hate the Hampton Five terminology. Right, right. I'm here for it. I love they it. They are. That lineup is, is really difficult to We need to, to give credit to Andre Iguodala. Oh, yeah. Dang. Listen, he Dang. can guard. Andre is arguably the smartest player in the league, right? I mean... Andre knows where he's supposed to be at all times, knows where you're supposed to be at yeah. all times, right? And he's a smart defender, and look, he's getting older, but he, he picks his spots. So regular season, I was like, oh, Andre's washed up. He wasn't washed up. He was just taking, taking it easy in the regular season because he knew playoffs is when it, it matters for me. Exactly. This is when I got to step no, up and play right. my most minutes, and this is what he's doing. I will say that, for as good as the Warriors play, part of that, we have to put blame on the Rockets defense, or should I say lack of defense, lack of in, defense in that game. La Here's what I saw when I watched game one and game two, especially game two. The pace... Well, game one, because game two's on right now. Or, yeah, yeah, game <laughs> one. Sorry. I'm still back in the Eastern Conference. Now. <laughs> but no, here's what happened when I watched... Well, we're technically watching game we're one. We technically are watching game but one. But when I watched game one, and you and I talked about this through text, because we like freak out through text every game. <laughs> The speed of both teams was so off. You're yeah. watching this yeah. hyped up, not tired Warriors team right, that's right. making it on both ends of the floor. The hustle's real, right. everything. No matter what lead they have, they're right. always consistent. And then you're seeing 
this tired gas Raptors team. Yeah, Rockets. Yeah. Harden yeah, yeah. just looks dead. He looks yeah. like he's trying to do what LeBron does on a daily basis, and I'm sorry, yeah. nobody can do no, that. No, and, and that's problematic. And I think what we're seeing is the pace of play for the Rockets. Look, their pace was not as high as the Warriors all season, and that's fine. But their pace of play second half of the season Ooh. and what it was in this game is not sustainable if you're trying to beat the Warriors. Yeah. James Harden pounding the ball for 19 seconds and then going to his move, that's tiring. Yes. There was a stat. James Harden had 554 dribbles in game one by himself. Oh, yeah. Clay, KD, and Steph combined had less than 554 dribbles. That is a problem. And not like it was a complete sweep, but that's visually what it made you it look yeah. like on the court yeah. because yeah. the Warriors were just yeah. fine and you have the Raptors just trying to the, follow yeah. their the, lead. The, 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 the Rockets were zipping the ball around, doing, I mean, I'm sorry, the, the, yeah. the Warriors were zipping the ball around, doing what they do. They had KD in the mid post in the ISO working his game. Look, the Rockets are not going to change who they are. And Dan Tony said, this is what we do. But if you notice, they were a tale of two teams this season. First half of the year, their pace was higher, they mentioned, and they were able to do some things off ball and move the ball a little bit. Even if it's moving the ball to get James Harden the ball back, do that so that at least the Warriors have to defend ball movement and a player cutting every once in a while. Mm -hmm. You know how easy it is to defend a team that one guy can just hold the ball and the other four dudes are gonna stand around? Yeah. That's real easy to defend because that's what the Rockets did uh, on offense. Mm -hmm. And defensively, when the Warriors would, with the Rockets missed, the Warriors would grab the ball and immediately go off and transition. Hard. And the Rockets walking back, n n no, no urgency in like finding who they're going to match up Unacceptable. with. Unacceptable. Problematic. So yeah. that has to change for this game. Mm -hmm. Look, I even, I even said it in terms of, you know, and this is an idea I talked to one of my coach buddies about. So if that's what the Rockets are going to do, when it's clear Harden's going to get into the lane and, he's gonna, and that shot's coming up, those guys on the wing – Ariza, PJ Tucker, whomever, start leaking back and, and figure out defensively what you're doing because I realize you, you make this an offensive rebound. Enough. You got yeah. to because that if that's a miss, Draymond's catching it and those guys are up the court. Mm -hmm. So they've got to have a sense of urgency and pick their and pick their level of play up. Hopefully they'll do that tonight. Game two, it's early. It's only 10-8. We'll see how it goes the, the the rest of tonight. Definitely. But we were also talking, you know, in the long term, no matter how long this series goes, Harden cannot keep putting this no. much effort no. in each game. Right. I mean, he was great in game one. Oh, but absolutely. And it, I'm not even arguing that. It's right. just that w I was getting tired watching It's him. not sustainable. He cannot do no. this every single game no. and expect to be a contender throughout the rest and of the And that's been his problems all playoffs, in his playoff past, right? Mm -hmm. The issue last year was, okay, he ran out of gas. That's why they have Chris Paul. Okay, well... It seemed like to me you repeated the same thing in game one, right? Yeah. You Again, I know they're not going to change into some all of a sudden ball movement, whipping the ball around team, but Mike D'Antoni often gets lauded as an offensive genius. Okay, Mike, playoff times, make a slight tweak or adjustment, add some dummy action, just something, again, just to get the ball in James' hands yeah, yeah. for a second, let the other guys touch it once, get it back to him, and then rock it. Yeah. Something just... To wrinkle, add a little wrinkle to make the Warriors think and say, oh, they're actually moving the ball versus, oh, we know what this is. Exactly. James out of the key ISO, we can defend that. Exactly. Exactly. Get the Warriors on defense. Have them moving around. Right. Tire them out. A little bit. Pass the bar around a little just, bit. Just think a little create bit. Create some open space. Exactly. Roll up a three and, and then let's and close then, it out. Right. And then do something different. Just exactly. a, little, a, little, a little bit to make the Warriors think a little bit on Exactly. Defense. Exactly. And now that we're in game two, like he said, it's early, but I mean... What are your predictions for the rest of this series? I know it's early, but I mean, just from what we've seen, are your Raptors making it through? Rockets, you mean. <laughs> you, you've been going the Raptors literally all segment, and I've been saying Rockets, Rockets, yeah. Rockets. But the thing is, though, it's not it, It's not a mistake. So what you're thinking is they're, they're getting swept. Is that, is, that, is that what you're saying? <laughs> well, maybe I just put that in there. <laughs> Look. Maybe I plugged it in there. As, as you know, and I've said this um, on, on multiple platforms, I picked Rockets in seven. And it's not so much because... I'm like, oh, the Rockets are that much better. I really thought they, they put together a great team. Mm -hmm. The Warriors have figured, you know, a couple years in a row, deep runs into the, to the finals. <laughs> These guys get tired. They're, they're over it. I just liked what I saw from this Rockets team this year. I did not like what I saw in game one. They can play a lot better, and they have to play a lot better. Look, Tucker, 
Ariza and Mbamute were a combined like one for a billion. Mm -hmm. Like they they were not. I mean that 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 is not <laughs> sustainable. Like you, we gotta hit some more. I mean, God, Luke Bashar and Mbamute missed three like point blank layups. You, you can't listen. Layups, layups like, against this Warriors team. You can't mess up. Can't because a miss on your end, all, almost always. Draymond, head up, you got the guys in the wing, one, two passes ahead, three, bang. And That's it's, it. Right? I mean, there was a, a play in, in the game on Monday night where if Harden got into the lane and made the layup, they would have gone up by one point. Mm -hmm. He misses the layup, Draymond grabs, shoots ahead, Steph, three, right? Plus four. Come back down, miss again, three, now you're plus eight. You, it was plus one to now down minus eight. In, in eight. a matter of seconds. Seconds. And not to mention, you, we all know this Warriors team pretty well from watching them. I mean, we see them go to the finals every year. Right, right. You know yeah. that if you're going to miss that layup, that easy layup, which right. you shouldn't, right. you know that, like you said, Draymond's going to get it. He's going to throw it out to yeah. lethal yeah. people. I mean, Steph, Clay, far threes. Kevin Durant, I mean, you can, I well, mean, yeah, you're going to get Kevin Durant to either drive it in right. or you're going to get Steph to shoot an impossible three that he's going to yeah. make. You can't afford to miss. This right. is the playoffs. And you've got to be better on transition defense. So what I yes. will say is that unlike how we said in the Eastern Conference preview, yes, the Cavs are now at 0-2, but LeBron, you know, they, going back home, we'll see. If the Rockets go down 0-2 and head back to the Bay Area at Oracle, they're getting swept. Ooh. They're getting swept. 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 Like the, gone with the wind. Yeah, because yeah, because <laughs> they're not they're not winning two games in Oracle. No. Like that that's no. No, not with that Bay Area crowd. Mm -mm. And not being down 0-2. No. And I'd have to wonder, like, what if they do get so if that happens, what is that saying about Maury, the Rockets' construction, James Harden, the presumptive MVP, I think we right before we came on, yeah. the NBA announced who the finalists were. No surprise, James Harden is among the, the four finalists for MVP. LeBron James, Anthony Davis. Right, I mean, and and Harden's probably gonna win it, but if they don't win, what does that say about Harden? Like what Will we see some changes? If they don't win, will we see some changes like we have seen with the Raptors, with the Pistons, not that they were even close to the playoffs. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, are we going to see right. those coaching, coaching changes, changes or, like we're seeing? I don't know if Daryl's going to get rid of Mike. I, I do wonder, though, do the Rockets have to switch the way in which they play, right? I yes. Mean, it, it, right? Do, yes. Does Dan Tony have to say, okay, look, we can keep a lot of the ISO heavy elements in and run the pick and rolls with Capella, but we got to add some other elements in here. Yeah. And do they... How do they retool that roster, right? Exactly. Because clearly their top two guys are fine. But look, Chris is getting going to be a year older next year. 34. Right? I mean, what's the rest of that roster look like? Capella's good, good young guy, so he's, he's going to be fine. But Capella owns the paint, how do we, as we said. As we said last week, how do we fault the rest of that roster? With what? With who? <laughs> right? I mean, so, and that's the thing. When you go this deep into the playoffs, it ain't like they're going to get some. They're not going to get a lottery pick, right? Because they're they're in the Western Conference Finals. So no. you're picking late in the draft. Mm -hmm. What does Daryl Morey do, and how does he retool this roster if exactly you know this doesn't work out the way they they had planned? And look, Morey said it, and we said it last week. This team was built to take on this Warriors team and beat them. Yes, I absolutely. Think, I think we realize again how difficult it is to beat this Golden State team because they are so I'm good. seeing it right now, for real. I mean, not that I ever doubted the Warriors, but you know me. I've always been <laughs> sort of a little bit of like, I won't come around completely right, to this right, right. notion that everybody has to beat the Warriors and right. stuff, but I, I am starting to see it. I really am. And I spoke to um, Doris Burke in the beginning of the season, yeah, and yeah. she said the same thing. I refuse to dispute this notion that the Warriors are just this right. top team, so which is why she was happy the Rockets came in. Right. And, yeah, we, I think we all were. So we, we thought Ooh. we thought the Rockets were a legit contender and challenger. And look, they, it, it, it was only one game, and we're not even happy what happened to the first quarter of Game Two. The Rockets could win. Look, yes. the Rockets win tonight. They go back to Oracle one one. If they steal one there, it's it's two two coming back to Houston. So look, it's not over yet, but some things have to change differently. Those role players on Houston have to play way better than they played on Monday night, and Harden and Paul have to play at the level they played and better throughout.
And, you know, we'll 100% see. agree with you. I definitely think changes need to happen, whether they go far or whether or not, because this is this is scary, you know? Yeah, yeah. And what we're trying to say is this game right here behind us, game two, is a crucial it's a must game. Win. It is a it's must, a must win, win for the Rockets. For the yes. Rockets because, yes. like you said, they go back to the Bay Area. If and they're down 0-2, they're, they're getting swept. They're they, getting good, swept. No good things are going to happen for them in the Bay Area. No, nothing good. Nothing good. Hey, I mean, <laughs> we'll see. We, we will see. see. We will see. Anything? I, I got I got a whole tight to my prediction though. I gotta say Rockets in seven. And I have Warriors in seven for <laughs> the Western Conference. So that again, is, we'll fight over this. We're gonna fight about that. That's what we do. It's but I, I, I've got all, I've got a hold to that. See, look, I mean, you gotta. All right, there's a little dead play right now, but there's got to be something they do there, right? A lot of a lot of that ball holding. Wait. I mean, look, look, look at I mean, Jesus. My gosh. Jesus. My Christmas. gosh. I mean, look, I mean, I don't know if you guys were able to see that in the background, but I that think, was. I think I think they caught. I mean, how could you not see that seven foot? That was, sniper? That was a seven. I mean, <laughs> he's, he's got he's got a handle top of the key. He's like, right, I'm gonna go and easy. I mean, lay up, catch up the dribble. He's just so good. And here we are creating airspace. Good screen by Draymond. I mean, look, he's got hard. Oh, on him. look at him. Come on now. I mean, that, he, he missed that, but weak side, I mean, that. Here's the thing. And like you said, weak side. Here's the thing. The Warriors are rebounding wizards. Oh, yeah. Listen. Rebounding. They're not running okay, back. Okay. Dan Tony's got, he's already up him on his, on his hips. Like, guys, good. guys, we got we to gotta figure it. something out. Harden's like, okay. I mean, look, he's last six possessions. This is, this is the last six possessions. Zero points, five missed field goals, and one turnover. And That's that is from disgusting. that heavy ISO ball. Listen, they're moving it now. Come on. There we go. That, listen, that play right there, they need more of that. Yeah. A couple passes, Eric Gordon hitting the three. Eric they Gordon's need... been hot from Whoa, the Well, listen, he needs to shoot better than he's been shooting this playoffs. He was better. He was decent in game one. The bomb. But he, he's got to because yeah. they, listen, as I said, this Warriors team is lethal. We know it's seven footers. But I still, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold out hope. Rockets and seven. I can't change no, my pick because no. that is what I said. The Rockets so we're sticking with it. Like you, they do, they do. <laughs> Let's uh, wrap this up, and we will head on over into our special little segment of the draft lottery. Draft lottery, yeah, big things happening. Alrighty, we'll see you guys there. Stay tuned, guys.